Alton Towers is a theme park with a lot of roller coasters. They have tend to be precise. They have a very wide range of attractions, ranging from dive coasters, launch coasters, whatever the hell the smiler is. They have a very vibrant ride collection. However, one of those rides is not so good. Rita. I know a lot of people shit on this ride and it looks like for good reason. The layout looks kind of boring and for a roller coaster it's pretty hard to be boring. The only saving factor of this ride is the launch and it's not even the most powerful in the UK. 0 to 60 in 2 seconds isn't that impressive. Especially for the model it is. I mean when you look at Stealth or King Dakar it just doesn't compare. Alton Towers definitely need a new launch coaster. But what launch coaster would it be? Would it be a Vacoma family launch coaster? Would it be an SNS air launch roller coaster? Would it be an arrow weight launch. No. The model I have in mind for Alton Towers is actually an Intamin Blitz. It's actually proven that it doesn't matter how big they are, they can still pack a really good ride. Pack a really good- pack a good punch. Maverick at Cedar Point is a great example of this, as it is only a hundred something feet tall, and it is considered one of the most intense roller coasters in the world. Now obviously Alton Towers have the tree line restriction, which I actually made a video on, so go watch that. But yeah, they can't build rides over the tree line, so therefore the rides cannot be very tall. But what if it didn't need to be tall? Why don't you have a little trench? Similar to what Taran is at Fantasialand, what if you have a little trench and you put the ride in there? It would be like combining the best of every coaster at Alton Towers. You know, you have Nemesis and Wicker Man's terrain usage, you have Smiler's theming, you have Rita's launch, which is alright, I guess. But yeah, all of those into one big coaster. As I said, an Intamin Blitz would be pretty good at Alton Towers as they could do something really good with it. They've proven themselves to be very capable with terrain and they've also proven themselves to be very capable with theming. So combine the two plus one of the best roller coaster models in the world. I think that's a recipe for success. You could possibly remove 13 and Rita as they are the weakest coasters at the park apart from maybe Spinball Wizard. You'd have a decently sized area with enough room to definitely build a lengthy ride. Maybe something like Tiger or Maverick even. An Intamin Blitz would go really well at Alton Towers. I can't think of anything they would theme it to though because they've kind of already done everything. You've got a government experiment with Oblivion. You've got a another government experiment with Smiler. You have a cult with Wicker Man, and you have whatever the hell Rita is, a race car, and you have 13 which is escaping demons in a forest. Scariest ride in the world. So yeah, if we add an Intamin Blitz, I'm thinking maybe a double launch. One, and the launches are right next to each other because that looks, that always looks cool. And then if you just have the layout going from two sides, like two halves of the layout, like a butterfly shape, you have like, well not really because, you know, you know what, I, you get what I'm saying. But yeah, if you have like two launches side by side, out the station, you maybe drop down, a bit like two tatters, you drop down into the first launch, maybe 50 miles an hour or something, and then you go into, I really like the first element on Tiger, that weird outer bank zero G roll kind of Hyperia element really. One of them is really cool and I want to see that in the UK because we don't have many modern roller coaster elements apart from Hyperia. We might begin to see more modern coasters with more modern elements so I think that'd be cool. And to help that, that this Intamin Blitz that I'm proposing, not really proposing, there's no way Alton Towers would see this, but you have a layout filled with airtime hills, inversions, because I actually like inversions, with hang time, intensity, I love rides with forceful helixes. I'm trying to say I like rides with intensity. But yeah, it's a short video today, but I just wanted to say that because I had a little idea. If we just remove the dark forest area as a whole, because Rita and 13, weakest coasters in the park, as I've said, remove them, and then we have a nice big area for redevelopment. Alton Towers have not really added any major coasters since 2018 with the Wicker Man. I know people count Nemesis Reborn, or some people count Nemesis Reborn as a new cred, but come on. It's not a full new layout, and plus, the pit it's constructed in isn't built, or wasn't built, last year. So, I don't count it as a new coaster. But yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Alton Towers haven't had a new coaster, like a brand new coaster, since 2018. Alton Towers. Build an Intamin Blitz, please. It would be so cool. Anyway, that's my pointless idea today. Thank you. Bye-bye.